You personally, thank you very much for clicking on my video. I love you for that. And before we get started, I want to give some love to the sponsor of this video. This video is brought to you by NordVPN. A lot of what we do, how we work, who we are is online. That means there's a lot of information that is you that's on the internet that those with ill intent can steal and use to their own nefarious end. So it's more important than ever to protect your information, thus protect you. NordVPN is a VPN service that does just that. But it doesn't just stop there. We're all movie buffs, entertainment buffs. Let's say you're overseas. Oh, they don't have my favorite show here. It's fine. You don't have to miss it. You can change your virtual location with one click. You can explore the world and catch your favorite shows. You don't gotta choose. You can choose between over 5,100 servers in 60 countries. You gotta love those options. And Nord has a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's risk-free. You know I love that peace of mind. So click the link below. Go to nordvpn.com slash johns. Get yourself a two-year subscription plus one additional month with a huge discount. And thank you once again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. I do appreciate it. And now, right, video game to movie adaptations. Those are always, always a sure thing. So Uncharted is a film adaptation of the beloved video game franchise Uncharted. The Uncharted games are one of those scenarios where the games get a lot of praise and they're absolutely deserving of all that praise. The so one caveat, the thing I can say is the first game shows a bit of its age, other than that. So in this film adaptation, we have Tom Holland as Nathan Drake and Mark Wahlberg as Sully. Okay, come on. And this is the story of how they meet, though we saw a glimpse of that in the third game. And now they're on their first adventure together to find the lost gold of Magellan. As a fan of the games, it's going into this movie like, okay, it's not gonna be as good as the games, but you know, maybe we can have some fun and some fun is in here. But as for the casting, Tom Holland as Nathan Drake, it's, I, I never fully bought him as Nathan Drake even young Nathan Drake. I love Tom Holland as much as the next person. I think he's great. But it never felt like someone out there was like, oh, Tom Holland, because we found the best Nathan Drake possible. It felt like, all right, Tom Holland's a superstar. <laughs> it was before Spider-Man No Way Home owned fucking face in the box office. So, all right, Tom Holland, great. We have him in the movie, fantastic. And then it feels like the rest of the movie was molded around that one casting decision. Don't know, I wasn't in the room, just telling you how it feels. It feels like, all right, Tom Holland, great. He's a bit young. All right, we'll just make everyone young and we'll make it an origin story. A prequel? No, well, not really. <laughs> it's not really linked to the games. It's just kind of an origin story. All right, we'll have young Chloe Frazier and younger Sully. In which my counter argument would be, well, the characters in the Uncharted series are far more interesting when they're in their 30s than their 20s. I mean, seeing it as an origin story, I don't know that Tom Holland, Nathan Drake would grow to be this person, this character who has the biggest body count of any video game character on earth. Don't know that Tom Holland Drake would snap a neck. I snapped a lot of necks in those games. Mark Wahlberg being cast as Sully was absolutely proof that the D.A.R.E. program was a failure because someone out there was high as shit when they made that call. Having a young Sully, sure, Mark Wahlberg doesn't look like Sully, sound like Sully, or act like Sully. I mean, it'd be like, Going down there without some firepower. Go talk to that rug merchant we just passed. No, I mean guns, bullets, and shit. He's not really a rug merchant. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. I will say one of the standouts in this movie was Antonio Banderas. He captures the spirit of what an Uncharted villain would be. He's not based on an Uncharted villain that came before him. But you look at this guy, you're like, you would be an Uncharted villain. I thought Antonio Banderas in this movie was great. As for the action in this movie, entertaining, yes, plausible. No. Ridiculous? Yep. CGI, of course. But there was entertainment there. The best action sequence in this movie, I think, is a scene on the plane. But it was also awesome in the game. And better in the game. So we'll just play it in the game. And that's what this movie runs into. It's the point I brought up in my review of the new Resident Evil movie. And the point I brought up was... A lot of these video games these days fulfill that cinematic experience. In fact, more so and better than a movie can because you are playing through it. You're not just watching it, you're a part of it. So having a video game to film adaptation for these action games isn't as necessary as it once was. Being in the plane when it all starts going to shit and the back opens up and cargo and people just start getting blown out the back, including you while you are a part of it experiencing it, is way more intense than Tom Holland doing it on a green screen. I will say this. On the plane, there's this thing that happens in the plane where I was like, well, the movie is just fundamentally worse now. Luckily, not long after that, you're in the last act of the movie in which this movie goes 
balls crazy ridiculous. It's like it doesn't even care. It's like, yeah, you're looking for plausibility? Out of here with that shit. We are just CGIing the most impossible past implausible zero fucks given CGI action fest you could possibly think of. And they commit to it, credit to that. And I can't say I didn't have fun with that ridiculous shit. Just in a world where Uncharted is a tentpole franchise of action games. I think of quintessential game franchise of action, adventure, exploring, I will mentally go to Uncharted. This movie's fine, but pretty indistinguishable from any other adventure movie out there. Think of an adventure movie where people explore and they're looking for a treasure, this and that. Not one of the ones that really stands out where you're like, whoa, that was surprisingly good. But one of the ones where you're like, okay, that happened, it's another one of those. This Uncharted movie doesn't feel much different than those. You remember that fan film, that Uncharted fan film that had Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake? That feels more like Uncharted than this Uncharted movie. This Uncharted movie feels like Muppet Babies, like the Muppet Babies version of Uncharted. You know where you have the grown-up, adult, or otherwise seasoned versions of the characters, and then because, well, it's cool to show younger versions of those characters, well, you make that too. Okay, nanny. Again, don't hate this Uncharted movie, but if you go into this movie as an Uncharted fan, I feel like you're going to find it lacking. Who knows, maybe it'll be a better time. If you're drunk. Yeah, this is the hardware I was talking about. Anyhow, the Uncharted movie. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.